Ah, oh. Estoy de mal ánimo, no de mal ánimo, pero no estoy entusiasmado porque estoy grabando ahora esta escena por segunda vez. La primera eh, tuve la cámara al revés, como un ID, no lo voy a decir. Ok, uh, la verdad es que no quería empezar el video así, así como lo estoy haciendo, pero uh, me recordé que esta mañana uh, regué lo, los árboles, así se dice creo, uh, le, ento, y recuérdense que con los árboles de aguacate cada dos días, dos veces al día cuando son bebés, entonces vamos a darle agua otra vez. Uh, Esta aquí ya se graduó. Antes era, yo le llamaba ocho meses, ahora lo estoy llamándole uh, nueve meses. Este es el que tiene, vamos a ver si cambió los colores de, de sus troncos. Tenía como tres troncos, sí, mira, ahora, son, ahora se ven más mar, marroncitos. Y, y todavía este árbol, mami dice que va a ser grande. Tiene como cuatro, es marroncito y después arriba todavía está verde no todo está marrón y creo que las, mira la semilla todavía se puede verse ahí vamos a ver qué va, qué va a pasar con eso ok agua para este ya tengo el, el spout ya lo tengo listo Este yo lo estoy llamando 22 de octubre porque ese fue el día en que lo movimos del, como se dice, de la cocina para acá afuera. Este sí, un solo tronco. Mira, ya está, ya está marrón en la base y ya va a cam cambiar a como más a verde. Porque recuérdense que este es un bebé, todos estos árboles son bebecitos. Son árboles, estos no son plantas, estos son árboles. Entonces este es 22 de octubre. Mira la semilla ahí donde está. Eh, Mini Miniman hizo un short muy bueno que habla, uh, que dice la razón por qué nosotros tenemos aguacates aquí en, en las Américas, que no lo, de, no lo deberíamos tenerlo. Si lo encuentro, voy a ponerlo en la de, de, descripción. Ok. Ahora, el nuevo o el más recién, que apenas uh, ahora le está saliéndole un tronquito. Pero ya obviamente cuando estaba en la cocina ya tenía sus raíces o si no, no lo hubiéramos puesto aquí, aquí afuera. Pero lo planteamos, uh, se me olvida cuando lo planteamos, pero por ahora le voy a darle nombre de semilla porque no, casi no quiere crecer para ser un árbol. Pero aquí está, mira, la tronquita está saliendo. No sé si la cámara puede enfocarse bien. Ahí sí, sí. Ahí se enfoca un poco mejor. A mí siempre me fascina la manera como la naturaleza siempre va donde está el sol. Mejor dicho, cuando un árbol o una planta crece, Casi toda la vez, casi to, toda vez, todas las veces eh, do, do, donde, de donde recibe más sol, ahí es donde tú ves que eh, la planta o el árbol está como alienado, al, al, uh, lined up, tú sabes, está como mirando hacia el sol. Ok, vamos a, a darle agua a la semillita. Ok, y recuérdense que esta es la segunda vez hoy. La primera vez lo hice esta mañana y lo hice tempranito. Lo hice antes de las 7. 
porque hoy me desperté a las a las 5 a las 0500 ok aquí está el mayor si ustedes miren el, el tronco si sí está es, es marrón marrón pero estaba casi muerto pero yo dije que no eso no se va a morir la naturaleza siempre encuentra una manera es como una película que yo vi con a Charlie entonces mira creció otro tronco por eso es que este es el, el color es diferente se ve más como verde y desde este tronco es donde ha salido eso, eso lo corté porque ya no tenía uh, de, de ese tronco no tenía ninguna hoja ay mira esta, esa hoja está un poquito marrón bueno desde ese tronco es donde la tiene todas las hojas vamos a darle ahora agüita a este Okay, ya, eso es suficiente. Y este video junto con la otra escena que le voy a poner va a ser demasiado largo, muy largo para el dios al al algoritmo como se diga en español. Un poquito más. Un poquito más. Un poquito más. Very important. <laughs> I cannot stress it enough. This stuff right here. Yeah. Not pure life in general, but water. We are in the great outdoors. See if we can get a, a glimpse right up there. There's a nice, huge ball of plasma that is so far from us it takes a little more than eight minutes for the its light to reach us so when we look at that we're essentially looking at the past but anyways um we're here in um the backyard i had started a little while ago picking the weeds but they start growing super fast this tree was cut our neighbors had to cut it for us, I guess they did, didn't appreciate the palm fronds going into their backyard. I forget which one it was. It doesn't matter. But now it's just trunks sitting there. I need to get, I don't have a trunk remover. And uh, that is uh, some heavy machinery. These wires, I'm not even sure what they are. They may be uh, television. Nowadays, they're all, all information comes in usually one wire, but as you can see, uh, the weeds have started growing back, but I'm gonna show you what they were like before. Um, act and actually, was, this is a, a light part of it, but you see this? This is how all of that was. And it already started growing back. I started this already here today. I just didn't record it, so. Uh, now that I got the camera and uh, I just got the idea to record for no particular reason It's not gonna make much of a recording. So you can go ahead and turn off the video now if you like Let's see if uh, the holder can even uh, uh, Record me doing anything Yeah, it does seem let's see Uh, well, I don't know. Let me take a look. So, I'm wearing the earphones because I'm also interested. I want to try out the um, how good the microphones are on them. As you can see, I already started today with the fix. This bag was already what I pulled just today alone.
Actually, no, that's not it. There's more to it because it creates dirt, which has to be swept up. There are uh, rocks that were purchased originally. I, I believe mom purchased them to make the back, uh, to make this area look nice. But anyways, what the uh, weeds I picked up, I just put in the garbage. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's see what we captured. And if we got any good footage, we will continue from there. If not, this is a dud. <sighs> hey, I'm back. Okay, I saw the uh, uh, that footage. It did get uh, since the I placed the iPad holder far enough, it was able to capture like um, uh, the the frame was actually low enough to capture kind of like what I was doing. Usually, I have to put place like something like right behind it so that it kind of tilts upward because you see how that tilts, that tilts back so that you can watch something on it but if i want to use it to record something i have to like tilt it forward like that let me see if i can show you i have to find something so i, I can tilt it forward and then that causes an issue because then the phone could fall i was thinking of um maybe um making a like or finding i should say a big like a like a, a a decent sized rubber band so that i could wrap it around the that uh uh the ipad stand and then i can put something underneath it so that it won't fall i, if I recall correctly when i first started recording one of the videos i i did um, I put a ketchup packet underneath the stand, like towards the back of it, so that it would tilt forward. Uh, let's just say right now it's tilting back. Uh, let's see, that would be uh, an obtuse angle. It's tilting back, let's say like maybe about a, a hundred degrees or give or take 110, I don't know. It's not at 90. If it was at 90, we would shoot straight ahead. But there's not much to this video. It's already gone uh, past the uh, recommended almighty algorithm time. But the only other thing I want to show you, which is probably fairly simple, this is just housework that anybody can do. Um, except of course unless you know you are disabled if you are you know obviously there's going to be somebody out there to help you because uh as humans it is in our nature to be kind to one another i don't care what if anybody tells you otherwise i'm trying to see if i can put the stand oh look it did it, did, it worked a little bit look all right See the stand right there it's set so now instead of being 90 it's more like uh 85 degrees so it's gonna film downwards but let me try to put the phone on it to see if it falls off and, and even if the stand stays all oh, the phone barely stays you no know, but it looks like it wants to fall let me try to do something else. Alright. Now it's at about a 90. And maybe I can show you just the other thing to this uh this cleaning. Unfortunately the dustpan we have has had better days. So this is what I use for the for outdoors. Even our indoor one. Is uh has had better days. We have to. This has leaves a lot of dirt. Let me actually show you guys because this does it no justice. It leaves a, a lot of dirt. So if there's a way we can pull it, 
I'm actually trying to record right now with my left hand. At least I can see the screen to see what I'm capturing. When it's something big, I don't really need the dust bag. I can just grab it and then throw it in the bag. But then for um for the stuff, let's see what I can make put the stand back up. So that it sits at roughly 90 or yeah, 90 degrees. Uh oh, in the fall. Okay. If it captures it, it captures it. And then just sweep. Oh, look, these are one of the rocks that were purchased. I could tell the difference. And then just sweep the rest. So you see, even though the dustpan has seen better days, it's still useful to an extent. Just grab the dirt and into the bag just as well. And there you have it, ladies and gents. That is uh, what is occupying uh, this moment in time for this individual here. And also gives me a reason to show off my sombrero, which the princess gets embarrassed when I pick her up wearing it. Um, it actually reminded me of a memory when I was in Colombia when I purchased one off of a, a native over there. Over there, just like how um, here in the States, they have, um, you know, the natives, they get, um, here they actually get benefits from the government. Over there, I believe it's pretty much the same. It works about just about the same. Um, so what they do is, uh, I'm not exactly sure 100% how it is. I know here, at least from what I remember, when I used to talk to, to people and hang out with people nowadays, uh, uh, I could count my friends with half a hand, if that. I did say uh, congratulations to a buddy of mine the other day. I've known him since I was in middle school. That's one of the, one of the people I can count with half a handful. But uh, nonetheless, I remember when I was younger, they used to say that if you're full-blooded, you would get like a, a, a certain, like a mon monetary amount every month, uh, you know, given to you because of your, of your heritage. And then, uh, and, but then if you're born and then uh, you're only half of, uh, uh, down here in, so in uh, South Florida, uh, the tribe that was, um, th that lived on this land, uh, in English, we call them Seminole. So it, this is really the, their land. This is the Seminole, Seminole's land. So if you're like half Seminole, which is what, uh, what we call them in English, uh, you would get then, I guess, maybe half the amount of money. I don't know how it works. Something to that effect. But yeah, that's about it. Let me just show you guys a glimpse again of uh, the little area of where I'm going to be at. And this all this is right up against right up next to the pool so always nice to have uh, the area nice and clean when I have a chance um, if I can uh, my sister she has uh, let me say this ella tiene una either Hidra, hidro lavadora uh, y me imagino que es mejor que la que nosotros tenemos porque la que nosotros tenemos usa electricidad pero no usa batería tiene se, uh, se necesita la corriente con un cordón y a mí no me gusta eso porque cuando tú estás mezclando agua que todos todos sabemos que agua conduce a uh, corriente uh, muy bien a, a mí me da cosa tener tanta agua alrededor de mis pies y también tener un cordón que está vivo con corriente entonces si uh, las cosas permiten y si el hidrolavador de ella es de es, es de petro uh, quizás algún día ir a, 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 
limpiar esta parte de acá, de acá atrás. Yo sé que también se puede hacerse sin un hidrolavador, solo con cloro, uh, porque eso lo hicimos al frente y quedó muy bien. Uh, me gustaría enseñártelo, pero ahora mismo, mira, tengo una, una reja que me está bloqueando. Todo está bloqueando, bloqueado por reja, menos por el otro lado que no voy a enseñar todo porque hay, hay alguien ahí y no, y no, les, no les pedí permiso si los puedo grabar pero por el otro lado si sí hay una, una entrada para entrar hacia, hacia acá atrás bueno una puerta mejor dicho del de la cera alright so that's it everybody thank you for watching appreciate the view uh, hope you have a wonderful day and uh, that's right uh, today is the the 12th now I think or the 11th I don't know. I I lose track and I get my information from what I'm holding right now and what I'm looking into. So I can't do both at the same time, at least not yet. Maybe they'll make that a feature one day where uh, on the phone itself, when you use the front camera, I call the front camera, not the cell phone camera. As, and at least that's how I understand it. Uh, they can make, they'll make it so that you have an option where there's like a, a little partial LED screen that maybe blends with the color of the phone itself. And then you can have an option where you can set up a banner that shows in information that might be useful for people who wanna um, uh, read off of a script and then they're, they're starting to make videos. Uh, if Apple doesn't use that idea, uh, any competitor, there you go. You have an, an idea for a phone. It's like gonna be hit or miss, but Nowadays, if you're a big company, you, you got to take chances because, uh, like they say, you got to spend money to make money. So if you spend it and you make it, uh, if you want to throw some my way, I appreciate it. If you spend it and you don't make it, you don't, I don't, you don't know me and I don't know you. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one. Be blessed. El palo de aguacate.